going through the book and it's like I think you've been around for a long time and I thought you were a lot older than... as long than... as Mel. Yeah, not, not, as, not as long as Mel. No, no one's been as long as Mel. That's true. But there you are, you're in your early 30s and my goodness me, you have done a lot and you've been through a good few reincarnations. So you say this book is my thoughts exactly. Are you glad you've written the book? Yeah, I am. I really, I'm really glad I've written it. It's, it's funny because I do feel, you know, I'm in my early 30s and I, I feel like I'm transitioning into a different part of my life and, and career. Um, but I felt like in order to do that, I needed to, like, square off some mistruths, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, this was my way of approaching that. Because a lot gets said about you in the press, or well, not just you. I mean, lots of said about everyone, the, yeah. you know. So, so it, it, when you read that, it must be very difficult because you always want to go, no, it didn't happen like that. That's not what I said. That's not what I meant. So this is your opportunity then to kind of, for people to see the real you. Yeah, if they're interested, you know, if they're well, not, they are interested because they're <laughs> buying it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's for, for the people that are interested, you know, and the other people that want to believe the other stuff are going to believe the other stuff, so that's fine. I always say it's hard enough at our age dealing with press that's not true when you're very young which you were mm. how difficult did you find that did you get much support you didn't have I suppose there wasn't internet then or was there was there was, there was, early <laughs> there was. I mean I think that I in a, in a way um maybe that's why they came the you know the press came down quite hard on me is because it was the beginning of the internet really or at least social media and it was the first time that musicians had uh, you know agency or autonomy over what they were saying you know they had to sort of write to reply and um and, you know, I, I did. And they didn't like it. And you're quite feisty. <laughs> I don't know if I was feisty. I think that it was just different. Yeah. You know, it hadn't happened before. So yeah. it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a, yeah, a, t a time of change and people were sort of figuring out. That when, stuff. when you sat down to write this, what did you want at the end of the day for people to take away from this book? Because it can't have been an easy write. You know, it you, you talk wasn't. Very openly about all the problems you've had, um, you know, sadly about your son who was still born, which is, a, you know, very, very powerful um, writing and must have been very hard to dig deep and, and mm. that, but helps a lot of people when they read it if they've been through similar experience. Mm. So, what, what did you want people to take away when they've finished it? I don't know if I wrote it with that, that in mind, to be honest. I, I think um, I've, it's something, something that I've always really struggled with is uh, the realisation that people are going to read what I do talk about or even listen to the songs that I've written. Um, and I'm never really thinking about it. That's probably why I've got myself into so much trouble because <laughs> I'm not really thinking about the long game. I'm yeah. thinking about communicating the truth in that moment. So, um, yeah, that's, mm. <laughs> that's my problem. Well, well, well. <laughs> so for every it's action, there's a reaction. And there's but it's funny because I was in the studio yesterday with the producer and he was like, so I read your book. And I was like, ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that people are, are reading it is that wasn't in my head when I was writing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yes, no, no, yeah. it does. Yeah. You, people write for different reasons or they do these things for different reasons. But let me ask you this, uh, because I'm not sure the answer to this. Do you actually like being Lily Allen, do you like doing what you do? I love writing songs and I love being on stage and performing them. And I love that people seemingly get something out of, you know, my, my contributions. So I, I really like all of that. I don't like the negative stuff. I'm not going to lie, you know. Who does? I don't, yeah, I, I why don't, would you? Um, I don't like it. And, and I'm a fighter and when, the, you know, when I'm backed into a corner, I tend to lash out, you know. Yeah. Um, some people are better at dealing with it than others. <laughs> I'm not no. very good at When it. you're on that stage, is that an escape for you? Because you know, you're coming back, you've got this European tour, you've got the, the British leg of the tour, then you're going to Australia in the new year. Mm. Is, that, is that an escape or is that a chore? The, 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 the performance the No, that's the best bit. It's the other 22 and a half hours a day, you know, when you're sort of <laughs> waiting around. That's the, that's the, tour, the chore, the chore yeah. of the tour. Yeah. Um, you know, I just got back from America. And I, found, I just eat. That's basically what I do. I just get on my phone and I look for the best places. I think I've put on about two stone um, in America. And I've grown a beard because uh, <laughs> I have all of the hormones from the chicken wings that I was eating. <laughs> No, I actually got ill and I just had to take industrial yeah. strength st steroids. So the beard is either chicken related or steroid related. I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah. And, and also, you have talked about, you know, being, it's difficult. You're a mother now. It's so hard being away from the children. Yeah. So you love to tour, mm. you love to perform. So that's another wrench for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, we now sort of like uh, structure the tour and, and, um, and schedule it so that it works quite well. Like this time round, I was only away for sort of two weeks, really, because they came out to America for a week for the half term. So we kind of yeah. like, 
build it around their schedule. And what about Christmas? Are you off for Christmas? Yes, we are off to um, America. We're going back to America for Christmas. <laughs> With the kids. <laughs> With the With kids, the yeah. Kids. And my mum and my brother and my sister and loads of people. Yeah. Lovely, so big family well, Christmas in America. Yeah. There's some Good. amazing stories in here. As Ruth said, there's, um, uh, you know, there's the harsh stories um, and there's funny stories as well. It's lovely to see you laugh and smile <laughs> and you seem to be in a good place. Um, you call the book My Thoughts Exactly. Um, are there any of those thoughts you wish you hadn't have put in there? Any regrets? Um, yeah, well, not regrets. I mean, I think there are things that I've got wrong. Um, so things that I believe to be the truth that other people have contested. And, mm. and um, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing, you know, nothing massive. But I mean, it, yeah, there's, there's, been, there's been some things. Mm. OK. <laughs> Good luck with the rest Thank of the you. tour. <laughs> Keep on laughing. Yeah. And uh, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. That's Lily Allen, and those are her thoughts exactly. And, yeah, and um, her uh, UK leg of the, uh, the No Shame Tour kicks off in Dublin on the 11th of December. Good to see you, and happy Christmas if we don't see you, you before then again.